Discover the latest Keysight solution with the M9602A and M9603A PXIE Precision SMU when they meet the test needs of VIXO LIV test. VIXO is usually fabricated on a wafer, followed by tests at various product stages from die, array, package device and module. The light current voltage, LIV, test is essential in the characterization of the VIXO. However, the self-heating effect during VIXO test imposes challenges in testing and damages the device. With the new solution of M9602A and M9603A, PXIE Precision SMU from Keysight, it offers 10 microsecond narrow pulses, which enables the LIV test with minimized self-heating effect. A maximum of 15 mega samples per second sampling rate enables the dynamic characteristics of the device to be unveiled. Let's demonstrate the LIV test by applying a current pulse to the laser diode and detect the current on the photodiode of this device with two SMUs. Step 1. Optimize the SMU settings to achieve narrow pulse using tuning utility. The SMU's pulse rise time depends on the device's impedance. M9602A, O3A offer various options to optimize the pulse rise time according to the need of your device. These options include operation mode, laser diode mode or standard mode, filter time constant, and range settings. This tool will help you to optimize these options by checking the pulsed waveform. Let's apply 10 microsecond current pulse to the laser diode from 50 mA to 300 mA. We shall monitor the current waveform at 15 mega sampling rate. First, we view the waveform in standard mode. The standard mode is stable and has less overshoot. Next, monitor the current of the photodiode, which is synchronized with the current pulse to the laser diode with a reverse bias voltage applied. Let's run the measurement. As you can see, the rise time with this setting is not sufficient for this device and the required peak current. The standard mode is ideal for large peak current with less overshoot. However, the rise time might be slower, depending on the device's characteristics and peak current. Next, let's check the waveform with the laser diode mode. Let's run the measurement. As you can see, the laser diode mode is suitable to apply 10 microsecond pulse to this device. Various options in the M9602A or 3A enable fast rise time and 10 microsecond pulse width for various DUT impedance. The tuning utility helps the users to optimize the settings effectively. Step 2. Perform LIV test with the SMU settings optimized with LIV test tool. This tool is helps to perform LIV test and plot a graph. The graph is used to evaluate the linearity of the optical output power with different input current to identify the kink. Set the pulse to sweep from start to stop for the current applied to the laser diode. Reverse bias the voltage applied to the photodiode. Then, set the optimized settings to SMU with the tuning utility shown in step 1. Let's run the measurement. You will be able to get LIV, IL, and slope efficiency graph right after the measurement. With this short video, the M9602A and M9603A has successfully enabled the VIXO LIV test with a 10 microsecond narrow pulse, minimizing the heating effect. Together with the tuning utility and LIV test tools, you can now evaluate your device effectively.